More now as Eyewitness News continues to track Hurricane Irene. Our team of meteorologists have been watching and tracking the storm's path all week long. Now we know Irene could bring flooding from both storm surge and heavy rainfall, but what's the difference between the two and how will it affect you and your family? Meteorologist Pete Mangione joins us now live with more vital information you need to know. Mike, with Irene's approach, you have already been hearing the term storm surge, coastal flooding, and flooding from heavy rainfall. Here is a simple breakdown of what that all means. You're looking at storm surge. It's hurricane's number one killer. Storm surge is the abnormal water rise in oceans and bays that is triggered by wind, not rain. If storm surge is high enough, it causes coastal flooding, which is a term you will hear a lot in the next several days. 1938 hurricane churned up a 20-foot storm surge in Narragansett Bay, flooding Providence. And a 14-foot storm surge from Carroll put the capital city under 12 feet of water. Hurricane Bob also produced a storm surge, the worst of which reached 10 to 15 feet in Buzzards Bay. Storm surge is dependent on wind speed, wind direction, and tides. In the worst case scenario, strong winds push ocean water towards land during high tide. Hurricanes and tropical storms often contain very heavy rain. This creates a separate flooding issue which has nothing to do with storm surge. While not the result of a hurricane, the historic floods are an example of how flooding from heavy rain can be just as devastating as coastal flooding from storm surge. Of course, flooding from storm surge and rainfall can combine to produce an especially bad flood. That's something we hope we don't see from Irene. I'm meteorologist Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.